the Arctic, a landscape of thousands of miles of floating ice, extreme temperatures, and magisterial beauty that has remained untouched for most of human history. We only reached the North Pole in 1904. A blink of an eye in the planet's lifetime, the world is changing fast, and so must we. The Arctic is growing in importance as governments, organizations, and scientists embark on vital missions. Airlines, shipping companies, and military vessels and aircraft are increasingly looking to northerly routes. In many cases, polar paths are more direct and save on fuel. And as the world changes, governments too are looking north to support further Arctic research, better understand the impacts of climate change, and be prepared for the future, whatever it brings. Connectivity holds the key to unlocking it all. The need for high-speed coverage in the Arctic has been a priority for the Norwegian government for a long time. As far back as in 2006, the Norwegian government stated that the Arctic is Norway's most important focus area. We worked with several potential partners for a long time, but it became apparent to us that no single government or commercial company would be able to shelter an investment like this by itself. The first piece of the puzzle came into place when a representative from the U.S. Air Force approached me during a conference in the U.S. and asked if there was room for a U.S. military payload on board the ISPM satellite. After that, why is that? And the Norwegian Armed Forces were able to commit to the program. The evolving operational environment drove an increased capability needed in the Arctic region. And now that the Arctic is more accessible, maintaining peace in the Arctic region is of the utmost importance. The partnership with Space Norway was explored because it addresses integrated deterrence and building relationships with our international partners and allies. With the growing strategic need for the North Polar region, we provide a more resilient capability. We provide two times Polar SATCOM, and we've delivered this program faster and with significant cost savings. So Northrop Grumman is the prime contractor responsible for the satellite vehicle, the communications payloads, EPSR um, payload, as well as the EPS CAPS ground system. So we are providing the end-to-end -end capability that is the ASBM. In June, Northrop Grumman built two satellite constellations for Space Norway's Arctic Satellite Broadband mission departed from our manufacturing facility in Dulles, Virginia. This was a sector effort as we provided all three major components to bring commercial broadband and protected military satellite communications to the Arctic. We proudly designed, integrated, and tested the ASBM space vehicles, which includes two flight-proven GeoStar 3 platforms and X-band and KA-band payloads. We also provided a pair of EPSR payloads and the EPSR CAPS ground system for this mission. With the launch today of the ASBM satellites embarking via such GX10 payloads, we take an important step in providing broadband connectivity into the Arctic region. The GX10 payloads represent an important step in Viasat's evolutional network, providing broadband connectivity for mobility users no matter wherever you are, whether it's aviation, maritime, governments or scientists working in the region. Together through collaboration and teamwork, we're providing connectivity in the Arctic region that's been unavailable in the past, and this is a vital part in the evolution of Viasat's networks. The ASPM program is a groundbreaking effort in an allied, governmental and commercial collaboration, both in a cost-efficient manner, as well as showing how governmental and commercial needs can be met. We're already looking into new Arctic projects, where we hope to bring in more of our allies, and we're looking forward to providing the first dedicated broadband services to users in the real Arctic. Mm -hmm.